Adding captions to your gaming shorts, reels, and TikToks can add an extra layer of engagement to your videos versus not having them at all. That is why in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two different methods for how you can add your own high quality automatic captions to your gaming short form content if it includes commentary. Let's get to it. All right, so jumping into method number one, we're gonna be leveraging the video editor CapCut. It's 100% free to download on your Windows or Mac computer, and it's loaded with a bunch of effects and features. Go through the process to install the application to your computer, and then once you do that, you should be brought to the screen where you can create a new project. Go ahead and do that, and then the editor should pop up on your screen. Now, if you need to edit the gaming short that you created, that can all be done right within this editor. For me, I've already gone ahead and created a gaming short, so what I'm I'm going to do so i'm going to take that clip and drag it onto my timeline and to add the automatic captions to this video i'm going to go up here to this top row go to the text tab and then i'm going to go to auto captions and then within here i'm going to need to select the source language that is spoken in my video so i'm speaking english so i'm going to go ahead and select that if you have cap cut pro you can go ahead and select the second drop down here i don't so i'm just going to go ahead and select create and when i do that cap cuts going to read through my entire video to find all of the different points where i'm saying something in my video and then it's going to lay out in its own track all of those different subtitles across my entire video. So with just one of these captions selected, I can go over to the right hand side and customize what that text looks like. As you can see right now, it's that fainty, skinny, white line text and it just doesn't look that good. So I can actually select any of these to change up what it'll look like. I like this one here. It's much more in your face, bold and has some color to it. There's tons of others though, if you wanna choose other options. I want the text to be a little bit bigger throughout this video. So I'm gonna take the corners, drag this on out. And then I'm also gonna center this text where my face cam is because I don't want the text to block the gameplay. Now let's get a little preview of what this looks like. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Hate to do it to you. Nice. See, now for this one, it's covering my face and I don't really like that. So I'm actually gonna split these two captions apart. So I'm gonna select the B key on my keyboard. That'll enable the blade tool. And then I can just select the part where I wanna make my cut. And there you go. And I just selected A on my keyboard to put myself back in the select mode. I'm gonna uncheck apply to all. And for the second part of this cut caption that has the text over my face, I'm gonna have this selected. Then I'm just gonna take this, and bring it down here, take out what I didn't say, and now it should look right. Lizard, baby. Perfect. So you can rinse and repeat those steps all the way throughout your video until you have all of your captions the way that you want them to be. And once you're all finished, just go over to the right hand side, select export. You can set the resolution and frame rate. Make sure that you don't have any pro features accidentally enabled or selected. And then from there, you can go ahead and export. Now, as nice as it is to have free auto captions options right within CapCut, it can make your gaming content look more generic than others, which is why in method number two, we're gonna be using the web application called Submagic. So to use this, it's as easy as logging in with your Google account. You'll then be brought to your projects page where you can select this orange create button, and then you can just drag and drop or directly upload your short to this site. Now keep in mind, your short does have to be edited. You can't be throwing in raw footage into this thing and expecting it to look at all your footage and spit you out a completed product. That's not what this is. It's up to you to edit the short how you want it to be initially and then you throw it in the sub magic to make it even better once you have your gaming short uploaded you can go ahead and give it a name then you can select this drop down in the middle and make sure that you choose the language that your commentary is in there's a ton of options here if it is in another language after you do that you can go ahead and select transcribe on this next page you can select the text theme that you want to have overlaid on top of your video i'm gonna go with Hormazi 2, you can adjust the sizing of it to make it bigger or smaller. You can adjust the positioning of it as well, but I'm gonna put mine right here between the face cam and the gameplay. I can also modify the main, secondary, and third highlighted color options for this text theme. In the next tab where it says captions, this is where I can adjust the wording of how Submagic transcribed what I said. So if there's something that isn't accurate, this is where I can go and make that correction. As we did in CapCut, I adjusted where I went full 
face cam mode versus in gameplay face cam on the top mode and I wanted that text to be different. I was able to easily do that right within sub magic by going to this up down arrow option and this is where I could set that positioning specifically for this particular caption. Something else that's important to do within your gaming shorts is that when there's dead time between when you say something and when something's being shown within the game, if you need to, you can always select the time range for each caption and set the specific duration that you want it to show or not show. Another thing that I mentioned that you can add to your captions are graphic emojis. So right here, I said a bot. And what I wanna do here is actually modify this to include a bot emoji. So we're gonna search up bot. We're gonna add that in, see how a bot pops out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. B-rolls, this is where you can replace segments of your video, add cool transition animations. If you go ahead and select the picture icon, this is where you can add a GIF or an image. So you can just select the add option there, search up, let's say something funny, and you can add these GIFs right onto your video. Now, Submagic has also added a new feature called Trim, and this is where you can remove filler words and silences, as well as being able to cut out certain words that are said that you don't want included in your video. This is a really great feature for those of you who are doing more scripted commentary shorts. If you go over to the Publish tab, this is where you can add in a hook title. Instead of just captions, you can add in music here as well. It can be your own, or you can use the premium music that's available right within Submagic. Magic. And then below that, you have descriptions and hashtags, which will be generated by AI so that you don't have to think of the hashtags yourself. You can just add to what Submagic gives you. Once you've put in all of those Submagic edits into your gaming short, remember to go back, watch it a few times, make sure you're happy with it, make any final modifications, and then go ahead and select the save option. And then to the right of that, select export. You can then copy and share your short from Submagic itself, or you can download it directly to your computer. There is a free option where you can edit up to three videos a month, but it will come with the watermark, so keep that in mind. For the majority of you guys out there, you'll probably get the most value if you use the starter option here, as you're only paying for really $1 a video. If you edit up to 20 videos a month in Submagic, you will save a little bit if you have the yearly subscription. So go ahead and try out CapCut or Submagic. Let me know what your experience is like in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and check out the video up on screen here if you wanna learn how to make long form gaming content using CapCut. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.